conclusion, a conclusion of many, many things that are a conflict, a conflict of childbirth not necessarily known as the main conflict, but the conflict that grows in a conflict and the deception unto the end of all conflicts, which is the major sin. The only words that God had spoken in the book of Genesis unto Adam and Eve is, look what you have done. You have created conflict. And for that, I will clothe you in the beast. And so on. The beast rising in the image of the holy mountains that were created in the realms of uh, Many ways of seeing, many ways of thinking, many ways of feeling in the heart and in the likeness of man instilled in many types of man and what comes from man through woman in childbirth. That who is to say within greater than that that lives in this world and able to not just sit there in the throne of all of the holy mountains, but able to go into heaven with purity. Purity that is so pure with wisdom that God Almighty wants to pick it up and beat it like a gold, beat it like a golden stick, candlestick, a, a stand of light that sees through the darkness that which we have made for ourselves since the angel wars in the times that are written with the Dead Sea Scrolls and all of the things that have taken place from that period. I'm guessing from a dinosaur age to the, to the age of human and moral ethic law that it's roughly 4,000 years. Roughly, for there is a, they say that the dinosaurs are a billion years old, which I don't quite agree with that. However, the way that the Mayans had uh, understood time with the sun and the moon and then the fountain of youth until the fountain of youth was killed by the law and in the law of practice our age being from 500 years old to only 80 years old is dying in this kind of law which is the, the considered curse in Jesus Christ who gave his life for that world conflict called childbirth and what grows in childbirth the many conflicts of money, riches, gain, theft, that idle bull that consecration to the Lord in the idol bull or away from the idol bull that tries to draw you into their church and steal from you or thieve from you. I am, I am, I hate myself. This is an analogy. I am filled with so many spirits, but I want things that it will not allow me to have rather than growing closer to nature, which is God. I want money. I want riches. I want fame. I want fortune. I, I don't want to grow close to God. Take these spirits from me that God had given me as a gift and put it in a, a rich man's pocket or put it in a poor man's pocket for a rich man to steal. Something that is not quite explained in this idle bull that Let's say that there is a time, a time period when we're born and we're raised up and God buys us back. And then buying us back, the demon in the church, the demon gods, the, the, the said two cups or the cherubim that has a lord over them as the blood of Christ. And in the blood of Christ is there a saint, the final saint with the king of all 12 tribes, Solomon, one, the commandments, 
And St. Matthew, the brother of Solomon, reborn of Jesus Christ as the thief, and so on. But that uh, great congregation that has no real salvation, wasting upon a uh, child of God and orchestrating that same theft, that same deception to constantly blame others when God had given you something greater than that fool and that idol and that thief or that elder papal boy or that encyclical letter that is written for a mundane ethic of riches, money, and gain until the end, that final wisdom, that horn, the, the, the two horns, but half man and half oxen, that Odin, that Belbul, that Ark, the one who was uh, king of Judah and the one who was king of Hebron, and Hebron uh, with the Ark, Artaxerxes, and the birth of Caesar and the law and so on, and then the king returning back to Judah where he started king of all 12 tribes with a, a pig up his bosom to thieve intellectual property like it still is in this day in and out of uh, law it, it happens in the in the society that has money idols that have money uh, governors senators other people who claim to be prophets but have no real wisdom. But that one horn in that book of Daniel that I have considered to be the book of St. Matthew, that one, the book of truth or the book of life delivered by God unto the son of King David, St. Matthew, the, the injured uh, Odin, the injured Belwool, the injured dragon Michael the Archangel and King David of Abibel or King David of Belwool and the son that is said to be dead in Second Samuel Second Samuel I can't quite recall but alive and the majority of the beaten candlesticks with real wisdom until the last but that one horn it talks about in the book of Daniel somewhere around uh, Daniel 8 or uh, 7, Daniel 7 or Daniel 8. That one horn that rises, but the other horn remains as the man himself wears the full head of the bull. It's said that in the bull that the Lamb of God, the Orion, leech, slug, um, worm, snail, is the Lamb of God, and that is King David, cursed to Abbey Bell, or cursed to Bell Wolf, or cursed to Odin, and Solomon, who gave his life to Sheba, um, saying that well, can't really say exactly uh, the difference between Odin and Sheba, and then Beowulf and Delphi with Caesar. That is something that I'm contemplating. How is Sheba related to Solomon and King David, the Lamb of God, Orion, cursed to the livestock who harvests the nature? The nature or the one who inherits the land which most likely would be that that is with Jesus Christ favored by the archangel, notably known as St. Matthew, who was crossed, it says, next to Jesus Christ, within Jesus Christ. But this was in the understanding that there are realms, nine realms or ten realms that are established and not fully known by the people or the human race. And it... And it it eats me up like uh, uh, the fish analogy of the beginning and the end from the earth into the heaven. Uh, who is Sheba? 
and who is Delphi and why is it all cursed to the bull and one horn rises but the other horn stays upon the earth until the end until the final said deal with the Delphi devil in the uh, trinity or in the ark with Artaxerxes and the viper Medusa in the ark with Jesus Christ and Satan who cometh and taketh the word away as soon as he hears it and and all of the prophets that are in Jesus Christ that works for everlasting life and the 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 books written letter with John the Baptist to the end and the one who is favored to open the seals which is the Lamb of God are Ryan it would be King David or like-minded with Jesus Christ favored by King David in st. Matthew 1 18 through 25 when King David chose the Lord who pulled from Mary Magdalene the seven deadly sins and Joseph exclaimed that St. Matthew reborn in Jesus Christ was a thief in Herod's court. That steward in Genesis 44 who went out after filling the sacks of the mouths of the prophets, who went out, that steward who went out and tried to overtake them and whatever the term overtaking means, I'm guessing put them in a vile uh, act or acting out in a manner to be arrested and courted like it reads when St. Matthew was crossed and so on I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here I got I got a lot on my mind that I'm in a lot of places right now